Seven Gala Stampers group. Uh huh. Hi, ladies. Thanks for joining me. Um, I am Julie Gilson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is my weekly live every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. I go live showing you three projects. And today I'm using the Blessings of Home stamp set and the Flowers of Home dies. And it is bundled together, so you can save 10% on that. So I'm doing two different cards today. I have... Um, the main the larger um, image on this card and this is what the inside looks like and then the second card i'm doing um, also has a sneak peek of an item in our new catalog and you can see this frame here let me see if i can grab it real quick um, it is from our fabulous frame so this is a new die set that's going to be available in the new annual catalog and then finally i'm creating this box for you. And it looks small, but it does hold four tea light candles. So this is a cute little hostess gift. All right, so I did pull a drawing before I got started for sharing my video from last week. And it, it the winner is Tina Gascon. So Tina, I do have your address, so I'll be sending you a gift in the mail. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think we'll start with this one first. So let me just grab this stuff. And the colors I'm using today, just so you know, are Pool Party and of course the silver foil. Um, the colors, I did emboss it with silver embossing powder and I colored it in with both Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, um, Pear Pizzazz, um, Bermuda Bay, and then Polished Pink on this one. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with this. Now this is, um, 11 by four and a quarter and it scored at five and a half. I will have these on my blog later on tonight or tomorrow. Okay. And I did want to um, let you know if you're new to my channel today, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And later on, if you're watching the replay, let us know that as well. All right, so this is shimmery white, and whenever you are using watercolor, and whenever you're watercoloring, you always want to use shimmery white or watercolor paper. It just holds up better with the um, water on your on your paper. All right, so we're going to take this stamp here and ink it up with um, Versamark. With a large stamp like this, I usually just lay it flat and then ink up the stamp itself. All right, so this is a, a large stamp, so I'm just making sure I have it centered, and I'm just going to give it an even push on it. That should be good. All right, so we're using silver and sink powder. And our embossing powder does come in a set of three metallics silver gold and copper so you get all three of them in one pack and i would recommend putting it in a larger container like this so um, you don't worry about losing a lot of it okay so this is going to take a minute to heat up So my um, printer is still not working. I don't know what happened, but both my printers in the house, I can't get them to print. So I think they're offline somehow. So this is a host code today. So if you, if you are interested in receiving these make and takes for free, just place your order by Saturday at um, a minimum $35 order by Saturday.
it's just about done. Prior, it would have gone faster. Okay, it looks like I got it all. All right, I always like to tilt it on the side and see if I see any dull marks. All right, with something this large, what I usually do is do the leaves first. And the reason for that is you can see then the flowers a lot better. So let me show you what I do here. I just squeeze this and then open it up and use the cap. Also, I wanted to remind everybody to please make sure you share this video. That way I um, can reach a larger audience and keep doing what I'm doing for you. And it's, it's a lot easier if you just put a, um, a real light coat of color on and then you can always come back and add more if you want it darker. I may even miss a leaf or two. Oh, I forgot. I, I also have um, my Create a la carte for this month to show you if you're interested in seeing that. They did turn out really cute. And I'm using the... Um, Late, um, Hello Ladybugs bundle. Let me see if I got everything. I didn't. Okay, like I said, I may have missed some leaves, but that's okay. I can come back and get them. All right, so I'm going to grab the um, Coastal Cabana and do the same thing. That hard oh yeah, my friend Stephanie is here with me, so um, she was helping me get ready today. So as you can see, I'm just putting a light coat, and when I get this all done, this one color, I'll show you, and then I'll show you the difference when I add some highlighting on it. Okay, so what I did with this is I added one. There you can see it better. I just added a real wash. Now I'm going to go back and then where the lines are on the flowers, I'm going to just add a little bit of darker shade and you'll see, you'll see it a lot better. It's easy because the stamp really tells you where to add the color. Okay, see what I mean? All right, so then we're gonna add a light wash on this one, the larger flower. And you do wanna make sure that some of the flowers are different shades and you can use the same color, just um, use a higher concentration of the pink. Okay, now you can really see, I believe, that one is lighter than the other. I'm going to do the same thing. Let me add some color on this. Now, you also can take the reinker for these and just um, drop a couple of um, drops of ink in the lid, and that'll help you out, too. Okay, so now I'm going to do this flower, which is the same type of flower as the other one that I just did. Okay. 
And then finally, I'm going to do this down here because this is also the same type of flower. I see my friend Lisa just hopped on today, just a little bit ago, and I have to tell you, she sent the cutest little gift today. Thanks so much, Lisa. I appreciate it. Okay, so, so far I have all of the um, Coastal Cabana. Now, I have to tell you, I did start off with Pool Party, and for some reason it looked... Um, the coastal cabana looks better on here than the pool party did. So maybe it's just from the water coloring. So I'm going to switch now and I'm just going to add a little bit of Bermuda Bay. Um, Deirdre, you can only use, you can use um, watercolor paper or you can use shimmery white, but I mean, you can use other stuff, but you, it doesn't, um, the results aren't as nice, put it that way, because the um, paper just doesn't soak up the water as well. All right, so we're going to switch to polished pink. And this is an in color that is actually staying. I had too much water on my brush. I just wanted to have a little bit of a another shade in here. Can you all hear my sump pump in the background? Yeah, I'm getting too much. My um, water painter was dripping. <laughs> It still is. Hold on one second. I got to dry this off a little bit. Yeah, this is leaking really badly, and I don't know why. Hold on one second. <laughs> Most of this is going to be covered up. So I'm not too worried about this part. Okay. You can always take just a napkin and, and lightly dab it. All right. And finally, I'm just going to use pale pink for the inside of the flowers. I did try like a, a daffodil or a um, daffodil delight. And also I tried so saffron. I did not like the look of it, that inside these flowers. Okay, so there it is, real quick and easy. All right, so now I'm just going to take this, the silver foil. Now, um, you can always die cut this before putting this on to save some money on your silver foil. But we're just going to put this on with glue. Hi, Belinda. Oops. 
All right, so we got that, and we're going to put this up on dimensionals. I don't know where my large dimensionals are, but I'll just use these small ones. Oh, good. I have a ton of them in the drawer. Oh, thank you. know what? These are from a kit, and I don't like those. Um, I have a, a bunch of them in my drawer over there. Belinda, did you get the email on the color club? I know you're always doing that. Oh, yeah. I, um, I also, if you all noticed, if you're on my email list, you saw the um, in color club that I is open for registration. Also, the paper share and ribbon share. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll make sure that you get on the list. You can register right now for the paper share and ribbon share, and you can register for the um, In Color Club. In the In Color Club, you don't have to pay now. I will bill you each month at the beginning of the month. Oh, great. Uh, Sharon Ann, where, where in Michigan are you? So this is uh, your card so far, and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing with these. These are just two and a half by three quarters of an inch, and I'm just going to slide them in right there, okay? Yes, Belinda, I was just asking you if you saw the email about the In Color Club, because I know you always do that. Sharon, are you a demonstrator as well? Oh, Port Huron, you're not far at all. All right, so I have that one on. And then this one is going to go on here. And this way, you could do a whole strip of DSP, which would be five and a half inches long. But why waste it? It's just underneath, so you don't need to do that. Okay, so, so far, so good. And then we're going to just stamp. Okay, we're going to stamp the um, happy birthday. And I don't think... I brought over paper for that. Let me grab it. Um, shimmering white. I thought I had it. Okay, so if you notice on my sample here, this is another new die cut, and I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so we're going to stamp this. Are you loving it, Sharon? Okay, so we're going to stamp this just like this. And then it's die cut. And this is a new bundle as well. I'll show you this right here. This is called Sending Smiles. So I'm using this die cut right here, which is really nice. There's two different sizes on here for all these different sentiments. All right, so I did die cut it. I cheated. So here it is right here. And then I also die cut this little trim piece. And this trim piece is from Painted Labels dies. So this is how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put glue, a little bit of glue on here. And then I'll pick it up with this piece. And I'm going to center it. From side, make sure the words are centered over top of it. Okay, so I'll use the little dimensionals again. Yes, uh, Lisa, I did emboss it in silver. Sharon, whose team are you on?
All right, so then we're gonna put this down about right here. Just make sure it's straight all the way across. All right. I'm gonna tie a bow, and this is this is staying in the line. It's our um, pool party ribbon. So I'm just gonna tie this. And then just trim off the ends. This will go on with a glue dot. Oh, I know Lissa. She's really nice. All right, so we have it like that, and then we're just going to add a few um, rhinestones. And I usually do just, um, I use an odd number. Okay, so here is the outside of your card. Now for the inside, I have two pieces of basic white. And one is five by three and three quarters. And the other one is um, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So we're just going to put another piece of this trim to tie the inside with the outside. So I'm just going to put it about right here and make sure it's even from side to side, okay? And also make sure that it's even across the bottom. Oops. <laughs> and that doesn't look even. Well, that's how it's gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me put some more glue in here. And I'll lay this right across. And you know what? It has a bow on it, so I can, it'll look fine. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna trim off the excess. Get to another piece of bay quite. Here it is. And this is our silver elegant trim. And what I like to do is just go like this on the edge of the table to take the curl out of it so it doesn't curl up so much. Just going to tie a bow for the inside. And if there's a little bit of slack, um, we can fix that on the back, which there's a lot of slack. <laughs> See what I mean? But that's okay. So what, what I'm going to do is just turn it over, take some tear and tape, and just start um, trying to fix it. I'm just going to tape that there, cut it, take another, pull the tension, and just tape that, and then it'll be where I need it to be. In fact, I can probably move it up a little bit more or make it a little tighter. Yep. And then just trim off the excess. If you want, you can always put a glue dot right under the knot here so it stays in place, and I think I'll do that. 
So um, you have whoever is Snowy Mom. What is your real name? <laughs> I don't recognize that. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here and see how that holds it really nicely. All right, so then we'll put this on the inside of the card and this card will be done. Hi, Kathy. No, Kathy Kirchner. Wait, sure. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it upside down. <laughs> Good thing I caught it. Oh my goodness. That would have been a mess. Okay, so here is your first project. I hope you like it. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. And this is the next card right here, okay? So this card is the other orientation. This is like the landscape. And anyway, it is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So um, I hope I wrote this out this time instead of last time, last week, I only used the a little um, label maker and I don't think you could see it very well. I had a number of people call me or contact me and ask me what the host code was. So this is the host code for this week. All right, so I embossed a piece of pool party and I'm putting it on a piece of basic white. All right, oops. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Okay. And I don't like how that's not very straight there, so I'm going to tr trim that off. All right, that's much better. All right, so this is going to go flat, so I'm just going to put it on with some glue. All right, and then I have a piece of silver foil and also a piece of shimmery white. And this is also embossed with a tasteful textile embossing folder. So we're going to put that on. And don't forget, um, at the end, I'm going to show you the um, ladybug set. And it's for the Create a la carte for this month. And you have until the 15th of the month to subscribe. All right, so we're going to put this up on dimensionals. Hey, Jude, your friend Stephanie is sitting here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the sun here. All right, and then remember I told you we had a sneak peek, and it's so cute. I'm using this die right here, and this is how it looks. Isn't it so cute? And, of course, that's in the silver foil. So I'm going to put this up on dimensionals as well. And the uh, small dimensionals, the mini dimensionals, work, um, work perfectly with this. Hi, Becky and Jean or Jeannie. I don't know if you go by Jean or Jeannie. 
And Jude said hello, Steph. Hey, Jude. <laughs> hey, Jude. Isn't it a song? <laughs> it is. By the Beatles. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, this is an overkill, by the way, because you don't want it sinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this oval, too. In fact, I even, I die cut the other, um, the big frame. I don't know where I put it, but it is so pretty. Oh, this is, it's hard to see, but there's um, like, I don't know, um, embossed grooves in here, too. And this is in the, that set as well. I love it. I would have used that today. I thought of a better way to use that on my cards today, but it was too late. All right, so this is going to go about in the center. Okay. And then we're going to do some stamping. A piece of, um, <laughs> what did I do with it? Um, the shimmery white. Oh, well, I have it stamped already anyway and die cut. So I stamp, I'll stamp. i stamp the last one for you when we come to it. No, I need one this size. So in that um, over there stuff, in that first um, thing or second thing, there's a, um, yeah, she can read my mind. Anyway, um, okay, so we're going to do some um, coloring on this. Okay. All right, so we're going to start off with the, let me see, the Coastal Cabana. All right. And again, just a, a light wash here. Do this one as well. I think I mentioned before that Steph is a new demonstrator on my team, so she's been observing a lot. And she's doing a great job. You want to check out her Facebook page, it's called Stephanie Stamp, St Stamp Studio FB for Facebook group. So again, it's St Stephanie Stamp Studio FB group. So check it out. I think you'll like it. All right. So we're going to do the Pure Pizzazz. And her blog is the same thing, Stephanie Stamp Studio. So I'm just cleaning off the brush. That's what I like about these. You can just keep on using them when it's they hold up, I think, better than the um, blender pins. All right, so we're going to add some pear pizzazz on the leaves. When you go to Steph's um, blog, make sure you Leave her a comment. Okay, so, so far, oh, I'm going to add some more up here. Okay. Lisa, that's so sweet. She said you're lucky to have the best one. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so I'm just adding some petal pink in the center of the flowers, really light. And then finally, I'm just going to use the polished pink for the small flowers. Okay, so this is done. I love it. All right, so we're going to put this on with dimensionals, but I have to be careful where I put my dimensionals because I don't want it um, like uneven with what I have going on here. So I'm just going to put a couple of them right here and a couple of them here and then right here. And that should that should do it instead of putting them on the back of the flower. Well, let me see. That's pretty. Wow. Um, she said she just tried to bring up your blog and it says web page not, avail not available. Are you doing uh, Stephanie's stamp studio? Not stamping, but stamp. See if you can get it stuck. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. Right, see how that worked perfectly. All right, then I have a piece of shimmery white, and I'm not using basic white because this is shimmery white, and I want it to be the same shade. So I'm using Thinking of You, and this is from, let me see, Quiet Meadow. And this is being carried over as well. All right, so we're going to stamp this with Versamark. Can you get it set? Oh, okay. All right, so, you know, I'm going to bring this in because it's hard to see. Um, white on white, really. I hope I got it straight. It's pretty good. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I'll have to trim it. It came up for her, um, Terry, so I don't know why you can't get it. Try, make sure you did Stephanie Stamp, S-T-A-M-P, Studio. And an S on the end of Stephanie. Okay, and I'm going to just trim this off just a little bit. Keep that just a second. Okay, so this is going to go on right here, and I'm just going to trim this on the end a little bit. 
And again, I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on here. No apostrophe on Stephanie's, just it's S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-S stamp, S-T-A-M-P studio. And it should come up. Okay, so here we go so far. And then I'm going to add some bling. Thank you. We're going to add a bow. I know. There it is. <laughs> I'm losing my mind today. Am my stomach crawling? <laughs> Good. All right, we're going to put this down right here with a glue dot. I'll just put the glue dot on here, it's easier. And here is the outside of your card so far. Okay, and then we just have to do the inside, and this is really simple. I have, oh, you know what? I forgot these two pieces. I cut these, and these are, um, let me see, one and a half by three quarters of an inch, and I slid these in here. Almost forgot these. And again, like just like the, the first card, you can... Um, do a whole piece all the way across but as you know you don't get very many of the same pattern in this DSP so I wanted to stretch it and I think just a little touch of DSP adds a difference okay all right hmm Maureen said she's getting the same error message. That's weird because we're pulling it up. It says she published her post. It says love your post is back from Maureen. Hmm. She said she found Facebook, but not your blog. Okay, so we're going to put a piece of DSP, and this is three eighths of an inch on the piece of silver foil just down the center okay just like that and then we're going to add it to a piece of basic white right at the top and then we'll trim it off i don't know what's happening ladies because stuff just pulled it up Okay, so we have that. And we'll trim this off. Snowy Mom, did you give me your name? <laughs> That's cute. I didn't see if you did. Me too. I think that just, yeah, just a little bit of something on the inside makes a difference. Okay, so we're going to put these two together. Oops. And then all we have left to do is our 3D project. How are we doing on time? Good, about 45 minutes so far.
Now, ladies, next week I may or may not do my my Facebook or my YouTube live. I have my surgery next week, and it's the day be it's on Tuesday, so it depends on how I feel. But I'll touch base with you one way or another. Okay, so here is your second card. Okay, I hope you like this one. All right, and finally, let me show you the last project that we're doing. It's this one right here. And this holds, let me show you, I'll just slide the ribbon off. It's kind of cool. It holds so many, and it doesn't look like it would. And I like to round the corners. It just looks so much nicer. But it has four candles in here. All right. Thanks. He will be too. <laughs> All right. So, what we have here is a piece of um, pool party cardstock, which is um, seven by seven and a half. So, on the long side, which is seven and a half, we're going to score it at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. And then you're going to turn it and score it at one and three quarters, four and a half, and six and a quarter. So then we're going to um, fold on all score lines. And then we have some cutting to do. Okay. All right, so we're going to trim off. Um, this is going to be the top of the box, and this is going to be the bottom. So we're just going to trim off this section right here. And what I like to do is, since this is going, I like to trim off the left, to the left of the score bump. So that, that means the score line will be completely gone. And then over here, we're going to cut up, we're going to take these two sections out right here. And again, now I'm going to cut on the opposite side of the score line, so it's completely out of there. So we don't have a bump there. See what I mean? Okay. So then the bottom portion, we're just going to cut up and I'm going to cut on um, each side of the score line to take it completely out. And I want to just trim this a little bit better. All right, same thing on the remaining two. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of a space in between each one. Okay, so then this is going to be actually the lid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first cut down to the second score line. We'll turn these off a little bit too. Okay, so this one is going to come completely off, this top portion. This one is going to be gone completely.
And then this one here, we're taking the little rectangle off. Okay, so you see what it looks like? I'm going to just trim this right here to make sure the false score bump is out. And same thing with this. I don't like to see that. Okay, it looks good. All right, so this is how it's gonna look. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is round the corners. So we'll just put this in here. Now Stampin' Up! does have a, tr a trio punch and it's going to be discontinued. So you might wanna get it so you can round corners because once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, so let me show you again what it looks like. So what's going to happen is this is going to fold over like this. So that will create your box. So what you want to do is just put some glue right on this tab. And then you can fold this right over and just hold it for a second. Thanks, Susie and Robin. Okay, so see, now when it opens up, we're gonna do the bottom first. So we always put in the sides first. So since this is gonna be the front, we know that these are the sides. So we'll put, push one in first and then put a little bit of glue on here and then put that down. And what I do, is I'll hold it like this and I'll take something that I can push on it. Okay, now we always want the front to go last. So we're going to do the, the next one, we're going to do the back because we don't want a seam right in the front. So this is going to be like that. And then finally, we'll put some glue here and the front's going to go down. Okay, so now these will fold in and see how much nicer it looks when the um, when they're the corners are rounded. Now these are not going to be glued down so that you can open up your box and this will just slide right inside here just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I have a piece of silver foil. We're going to put this right on here, but we can put this together first before putting it on. So it'll go just like that. So it's the same size from side to side, but it's an eighth of an inch difference from top to bottom. And then this is going to go just right in the front. Just right here. And just make it straight. Okay. I can put the bow on right now. It's not staying very well. I'm going to do the bow after once this glue's holding a little bit better. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to stamp the flower that we're going to put on there. And that is this one right here. So we're going to do this in embossing as well. I'll do that again.
Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then you want to die cut it with a, this die right here. So you're just going to lay that on here. And you might want to use some washi tape. Sometimes I do as well. And then it, after you die cut it, it'll look like this. So we'll just go ahead and we'll watercolor this and we're just about done. Let's see. Oh. So we're going to use Coastal Cabana again. Thank you, Rita. Okay, I'm going to add the pear pizzazz for the leaves. Okay, and just a couple more colors and we're done with this. We're going to put on the petal pink for the inside of the flowers. See how careful I am? <laughs> and petal pink for the little ones. I'm going to keep a um, napkin or a Kleenex close by just in case you have too much water on your your water painter like I have tonight. I don't know what the deal is, but it's giving me a hard time today. It wasn't earlier when I did it be without being on camera, but now it is. All right. So... Um, a strip of these. Okay, so we're going to put um, this on dimensionals. Yep, perfect. Thank you. I'm going to put a little one down here. And this time I'm putting it kind of on an angle. Like this. So I get some of the silver showing here, here, and here. Okay. All right. So then we're going to stamp hello. And hello is from the Renaculous Romance, this set. And this is being carried over, which I'm happy about too. All right, so we're going to stamp hello, and you could put any sentiment. I just think it needed a sentiment on here. Um, you could put thank you, anything, happy birthday. These would be great little favors. Okay, let me cut this off some. And I'm just going to trim this off. Now you can use dies but I'm doing the lazy way. <laughs> I just trim it off afterwards. 
And let me see. It looks good. Okay, so we're just going to cut this on an angle and then cut a little bit of this off. Put a couple of dimensionals on here. I'll add a rhinestone to this and some ribbon. Like that. And here's the ribbon. Now it might be a little bit tough to tie the bow on here because there's nothing inside this, so there's no weight to this box right now, but we'll see. Oh, I get it. Oh, thanks. I'm like a professional bow tire. <laughs> wow, that's for sure. Okay, and for the top of this, I like the bow to be a little bit bigger than normal so it looks real fluffy and pretty. Always cut your ribbon on an angle. Okay, we're going to add a rhinestone. I'm just adding one. You know what, this time I think I'll do it right there. Okay. All right, so here are your projects for today. I hope you like these. And um, remember, the host code is here. If you'd like to place an order and get these um, make and takes for free in the mail, but I would like to um, show you our my create a la carte for this month. So you have until um, let me see the fifteenth of the month to to um, subscribe to this. All you have to do is go to my blog at stingala.com. At the top of my blog, there's a tab that's called create a la carte. If you can't find it, you can let me know and I can send you a link to it. But that's where you can subscribe. You can quit at any time. But um, I have four of the projects here. The last one is upstairs. And I'm not going to run up and get it. But I'm using the Ladybug stamp set. So this is one of the cards here. Okay. Here's another one. I just love it. Um, here's the third card. All right. And then... I do have my 3D project here, which is, I think it's so cute. And this is one of those coasters, car coasters, and it's a little ladybug. And anyway, it's a cute little box. But um, I will open it up and show you that I wanted the ladybug not to um, kind of like slide around inside. So it's, I created a kind of like a, um, like bumpers on the on the sides so that um, it wouldn't slide around and it would stay in the center of the window. So anyway, here's four of the projects and there's one more, but it's upstairs. Anyway, if you'd like to subscribe to this month, just go to my blog at stephengala.com, click on um, Create a la Carte and it'll walk you through it. So anyway, I want to thank you so much for um, watching tonight. I hope you liked them. And anyway, I will um, be in touch next week. Just remember, I'll let you know um, on probably Tuesday evening it, um, what the deal is going to be if I'm able to do Wednesday evening. So thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.